How to create a Shopify dropshipping store? Complete tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create your own Shopify dropshipping store to sell your products online. So let's get into it. First of all, you can go to Shopify.com and you will land right here. Build your own e-commerce website in three steps. Shopify is a very famous dropshipping platform that allows you to create your own store and then add your products. So let's get into it. First of all, in order to get started with Shopify, you will have to create an account. You can enter your email address right here and you can start your free trial. There is a pricing plan available on Shopify, so you can go ahead and choose uh, from there and you will be able to then sign up. So you can see this is our signing up process and all you need to do is just create an account first and you will be able to get your own store. Once you have created an account like this, let's get started. Which one of these describes you best? I'm just starting. Next. Then we have where would you like to sell an online store Then I'm going to click on next right here. Do you have an online audience or following? So for now, we do not have an audience. I'm going to click on next. Once you do, you're going to give your store a name. Giving a name to your store is really important. So we're going to go ahead and quickly add the name. Let's say the name for my store is the Sway Closet. And if this name is available, I will be able to get it. If it's not available, Shopify will let me know. And this is going to be my domain you can see your store name and then it's going to be dot my shopify dot com so this is our domain name this is our store name you're gonna click on next then you have to select the country you live in and you're gonna select whatever country you are in then next then you can continue with your email address or your google account so once you have signed up for shopify.com, it will also show you the domain that we selected. We went with this way, closet1.myshopify.com and here we are. Now let's get started with the setup of our online store. So we have to answer some questions in order to just get started. Are you selling already? So I'm just going to say that I am selling just online. Um, then you're going to select where you are actually selling. And if you're not selling, then you can just go ahead and select I'm not selling products yet. What is your current revenue? So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, which industry you are in, and you're going to select your industry from here. So I deal in actually clothing and click on next. Then we have to enter our address in order to get paid. So this is where you will enter your address. You have to enter your country, first name, last name, address, apartment, suite, city, postal code, phone, and business or personal. Then you can also select if the store is registered in real time or not. Then you're going to click on enter my store and it will take you to your online store. I'm going to go ahead and quickly enter the details here. So once you have uh, entered your story, this is what it will look like. We have created a store on Shopify. So this is how to get started with Shopify.com. You have a domain and you have your own store. Uh, now we have an online store available. We need to set up our store in order to sell our products. When it comes to the setup guide our store, we have four steps that we need to complete. The first step is adding your first product to your store. This is our store. You can see this is our main admin. Uh, this is our store name. And we have home, order, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discount, online store right here, add app option. At the bottom, we have settings. In settings, I will be able to find all kind of different settings right here. We have domains, we have shipping and delivery, payments, and more. So let's add our first product. To add a product, you can go to the product section right here. Then you're going to click on add your product. Adding a product is really easy on Shopify. First, we have to enter a title. So for the title, let's go with a yellow hoodie. And then we have to enter a description for our product that we have. So for now, I'm just going to go with, again, the title that we added as the description. Uh, like you will fill in whatever you want to add here. You can even add photos and videos in the description. Moving on, we have media. This is where you will add the images, videos, or a 3D model of the product that you have. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and select the picture from my computer. So this is our product right here. You can see I have updated the picture. Then we have pricing. Uh, so you will enter the price for your product right here. And this is our currency for the store. This is according to the country that we have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the price for my product. Compare at prices. So we're going to go with this one. Cost per item. This right here. 
So I'm going to scroll down to inventory now. In inventory, we have to, in this section, you have to enter your SKU stock, keeping unit and your barcode right here, track quantity, continue selling when out of stock. Uh, then we have location. This is going to be the location that you want to add for the quantity. For shipping, you have to select if it's a physical product or not. This is a physical product. We have to enter our weight here. Uh, we have a custom information where you will enter your country and your age as if you have any. In options, you will be able to create the variance of a product. Let's say I have a variant in size. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly add some variants for let's say small and then we have a medium and then we have a large so these are my variants of a product click on done and the variants will be created you can see we have three variants we have small large and medium available and at the end we will be able to see our search engine listing uh, we also have the product category option and where i can create products uh, similarly, we have a uh, vendor collection and tags that we can create with Shopify. Click on save and your online uh, store. Click save and your product will be saved. This is the first step that you need to do in order to set up your store on Shopify. So you can see now our first step is done. Moving on, add a custom domain. Click on add domain and here you will have to add any domain you want. So you can see this is the domain that we have right now, which is the uh, myshopify.com. But what I can do is I can connect connect an existing domain that I have or what I can do is I can buy a new domain too so the domain settings can be done right here and we also have change a new myshopify.com so I'm gonna go with the same domain that I have already and I'm gonna just go ahead and select this one so once you have entered your domain the next step is going to be customize theme uh, so I'm gonna move on to the customize theme so this is our store. This is going to be our storefront that I need to set up. Click on customize and it will take you to your online store that you have. So here we have our store. Uh, you can see this is my uh, store name right here. This is our header. Then we have image banner. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and uh, change the cover. So click on change and select image. So the banner image will be added. You can see I have added this image and we can, of course, add a text here. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and uh, customize our heading a little bit. And in our heading, I'm going to again add our store name. There you go. Similarly, we have a lot of different options in order to customize our store on Shopify. So this is the banner image. We have our heading. Then we can, of course, customize the text that we have on our website. We can add different featured products. This is the product that we just created. So you can add different products right here. Similarly, we can add our product video. We can add a bunch of different elements to our shop right here. We can add different columns. We can add sections. We can customize the theme as well from this theme settings right here we have color we have typography layout buttons inputs product cards and much more so you can see all of these different options are available to customize your theme that we have selected for our store once you have uh, customized your store a little bit it will take some time of course because you will customize each and everything right here once you're done you're going to click on save and your store will be customized and this is uh, how you can uh, complete your third step in order to set up your online store on Shopify. Moving on, we have our last step, which is going to be place a test order. So what we can do is because now we have a domain name, we have added some products to our store, uh, we have customized our shop completely. Now we can place a test order that will be shown in the order section right here. Place a test order to test your shop. If it works well, you will be able to receive your order right here in this section. Then you can fulfill your order by following different steps and your store is up and running. Uh, you can also add a customer list right here. We can get our analytics. We can work on the marketing with Shopify. We can create discounts even very easily. If you want to set up your store payment, then you're going to go to the settings at the bottom. It will take you right here. Go to the payment section and it will allow you to set up different payment methods for your Shopify store and we have three types of payments we have a, a manual payment method we have a supported payment method and payment providers so you can choose any of these different methods and you will be able to add it similarly go to the shipping and delivery and this is where you will enter your shipping rates and you can go ahead and enter your different carriers for the shipping and delivery 
and you can also create your own packing slips if you want to create emails and notifications then you can go to the marketing section we can also add different apps to our shopify in order to customize our shopify experience and this way we will be able to run a successful business we can get products from different dropshipping suppliers such as aliexpress uh, cj dropshipping and more so this is how you can go ahead and create your own dropshipping store on shopify just create an account and then you can follow this tutorial to learn how to create your online store to run a successful business this brings us to the end i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel